This winter, the United States is bracing for a big shift. Federal forecasters say La Nina is returning and it's expected to dominate the nation's weather over the next several months. If you've noticed colder air settling in early or if some regions are already seeing unusual patterns, there's a reason. This oceanic phenomenon deep in the Pacific is about to shape how the entire season unfolds. La Nina isn't new. It's part of a natural climate cycle that toggles between warm and cool phases in the Pacific Ocean. During La Nina, the central and eastern Pacific waters become cooler than average. When that happens, the trade winds grow stronger, pushing warm water west toward Asia and allowing cold water to rise up near South America. Those changes ripple through the atmosphere, shifting the jet stream, the powerful river of air that steers storms and controls temperatures across North America. This winter, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, says La Nina conditions are firmly in place and could last well into early spring 2026. It's the third La Nina in five years, following a brief El Nina phase last year. Forecasters expect it to peak between December and January, which means the biggest impacts are still ahead. But what kind of changes should we expect? In the northern U.S., it's likely to be colder and snowier than usual. States like Washington, Oregon, Montana, and the Dakotas might see heavy snow and icy conditions through much of winter. The Great Lakes region could also experience more lake effect snow, piling up totals far above normal. Across the South, the story flips. Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, and Florida are forecast to have a warmer, drier winter. The downside is that dry weather can worsen drought conditions and increase the risk of wildfires later in the season. The Midwest and Northeast could see the most unpredictable effects. Some weeks could bring mild sunshine, others might deliver sudden arctic blasts and snowstorms. That's because the jet stream's path becomes unstable during La Nina, allowing cold air to plunge south one week and retreat the next. On the west coast, the pattern could bring split conditions. Northern California may have above average rain, but Southern California could stay drier than normal. That an even water distribution is something experts are watching closely since it directly affects the region's ongoing water supply challenges. But La Nina isn't just about temperature and precipitation. It also influences how severe winter storms can get. The collision of cold northern air with warm southern moisture can trigger powerful snow and ice events in the central U.S. Even though the Atlantic hurricane season is over, scientists note that this same pattern tends to boost hurricane intensity earlier in the year by lowering wine shear across tropical waters.